Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is, as you can see, the ninth lecture of String Algorithm series. In this lecture, I'll be telling you why you should learn tri data structure, or basically where tri data structure will be utilized in uh, in computer programming and in other respects as well in other areas. Okay, so let's get started. And yeah, keep in mind this title. This is special. I mean, keep in mind. So what are the applications of tri data structure there are a lot of uh, applications of tri data structure some of them are mentioned here uh, first of all it helps in autocomplete whatever you are typing whenever we type something we see uh, autocompleted uh, suggestion right so tri data structure can be used to implement that uh, a use case and then spell checkers longest prefix matching and the fourth one which we'll be using the most in competitive programming is string uh, string search in big of all time where l is the length of the string which we are going to search in a set of other words okay now how the autocomplete works just just a hint just an idea so suppose uh, this is my tri data structure and these are the only words uh, or uh, these are the only words that I've inserted for now. Okay, so suppose you entered B A. So this is where you start. This is the root of your uh, of your try. Okay, so you start from here. The first character is B. So you go here, and the other character is A. Then you go here. So now from here there are two paths, right? This and this. So there will be two suggestions. B A you have already typed B A D or B A C K. So you'll be getting two suggestions: bad or back depending upon how how many characters are there and other uh, other characteristic that the the guy who has implemented the uh, autocomplete depending upon that you will be getting suggestion because the, in suggestion you may get a, lo a lot of matchings for suggestion softwares so depending upon how that guy has implemented it you will be getting four or five suggestions right uh, and yeah the starting from certain uh starting from root to the end we get a single word right it is possible that we can get a word even before we reach the uh the what we call it end of the tree uh, what we call it in a tree where we end leaf note yeah sorry my memory is not really good while i remember the names other time it's it works perfectly fine so starting from the root to the leaf uh, it uh, it becomes a single word it is also possible that uh, midway it is also forming a word in that case that's why at each node we also keep a boolean variable whether it's uh, end of a word or not so that is the implementation details we'll be learning all of that uh, later in this lecture series so for now i was just telling you how the autocomplete actually works right so now about the title you see uh a long time ago i saw this problem like 2018 i saw this problem and i still remember because this is one of the most important problem that i saw at that time because uh when I, I usually when i solve problem and because some problem if i'm learning a new concept then that problem holds a special place in my heart uh, same goes for this problem because of this uh, i was forced to learn tri data structures so you can see the question is you are given n number of uh, number of integers oh basically you are given uh, q queries each time a uh, query can be as large as in uh, 2 into 10 to the power 5 so each time you are asked you are given a a multi set of integers you are asked to perform three types of queries first add certain integer to your multiset remove one instance of certain integer x from the multiset and it is guaranteed when we are asking you to remove one instance of x there are at least one uh, there is at least one instance of x already present in our multiset okay and finally uh, this is the most important query part a question mark x that means you have to uh, you are given integer and you need to comp uh, compute the value this one the maximum value of bit y uh, exclusive or basically xor with the available integers in your multi set so you have to perform x xor y where x are all of the integers present in your multi set and we have to report what is the maximum xor that you can achieve 
using this x integer and some integer already present in your multi set so you can see uh, you can't just in each query you can't just traverse the whole multi set and and perform this xor operation and find out the maximum that is that is not possible since the number of queries are 20 to power 5 uh, n square will not work q square will not work here so basically n square where n i'm assuming is the number of uh integers present in your multi set basically quadratic complexity is not possible here uh, we will get tle so uh, at max what we can do we will be solving the this query part in log n time and how will do that of course some way or the other we'll be implementing try data structure to solve this problem and and you'll see uh when we'll learn we'll finish learning our try data structure and we'll solve this problem you'll see how beautiful this is uh, how you can solve try data structure to solve problems like these okay so yeah these are the applications of try data structure and these are the problems i mean this is one of the problem one of the many problems which we'll be solving using try data structure so uh, in the next lecture hopefully we'll start learning uh, we'll start learning about the try data structure and implementation of it as well so yeah this was all for this lecture if you have any suggestion or problem that you would like to suggest which we can solve using try data structure or any resource or uh, you believe that uh, i can learn from that resource myself and then uh, enhance my teaching skills related to try data structure uh, you are more than welcome to uh, suggest me that resource yeah so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you